All right. In the previous video of this series, I showed you how to build an app where you know, you click on a button and it and it and it speaks. Right. Um, you know, we can test this in the previewer. You know, I touch the save the button coder. and it says I am a coder. Okay. Now in this app, um, there's just one event handler and one event we you know we handle when the button gets clicked. Um, but you can also cause things to happen for any any kind of event. So what I'm going to show you this app is. What if you want stuff to happen just over time? So time is kind of the event. Um, one way to do that is in your designer, you need to add another component and I'm just gonna search for it. It's called timer, it's, 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 it's a sensor. Time is, is, is a sensor in Thunkable for whatever reason, but I'm gonna drag a timer in and it's just another invisible component. Um, and you'll notice there's this interval of, of five seconds. You're almost always going to click on loops to be true and enable, we'll set it to true as well. So basically we're saying, turn my alarm clock on, um, have it go over and over and every five seconds. Okay. So I've got this timer now um, and I'm going to go back to my blocks. And what I want to happen is, yeah, when someone clicks a button, we'll say I'm a coder. But then when the when the alarm clock goes off and, and the event's called when timer dot fires, and it's a little abstract, right? Because you, you, you drag it in, this is all gonna happen every five seconds only because you know, our timer is set up that way. Like if I change this to three, then it'll happen every three seconds. But let's just leave it for five seconds for now. Okay, and if I go back to my blocks, and what do I want to happen every five seconds? Well, I'm just going to copy this. So I'm going to do Command C, Command V, at least on a Mac. I think on Windows it's Control C and V. And I'm just going to do this speak. And um, this time I'll say, I don't know, let's do something that a little affirmation that you could <laughs> play. Uh, you are the best, right? Okay. So as the timer fires, what our app should say is, you are you are the best. Okay. And if we click, it'll say something different. All right, so if I go back to the designer um, and do preview, um, and it's just loading up here for, for a second. I don't know why it's taking, taking, a, taking a bit. There it goes. Okay, and I think if we wait five seconds, it's gonna start you talking. You are the best. There it goes. Now, if I, five seconds later, it'll say it again. You are the best. Okay, but I can still click. I am a coder. And it'll say I'm a coder. You are the best. Okay, cool. So anyway, that's, that's this app now, you know, an app kind of consists of event handlers, and this app is now a little more complicated. It responds to two different events. One event is button.click, the other one is timer fires. Okay, but both events have basically the same function call or the same operation, the same response, um, except they just say, say different things. Um, but anyway, this you're starting to see what the structure of an app is going to look like. Um, and, you know, the other thing just to note this timer.fires, this is how animation gets done as well, right? Because really animation is like things moving over time. And one way to conceptualize that or code it is to say, well, every time this little, uh, you know, quote unquote alarm clock goes off, you know, let's make something, make something happen. And that's what we did with, with this app.